Why is that? I'm even writing on my wall. So oily. Jeez, I hate that angle. What am I? This is so weird. <laughs> I want to do this thing so we're gonna do this youtube thing so this video that i just recorded is basically my 2020 money challenge one of my goals this year is to actually do the challenge and finish the challenge so i've decided that i want you guys to hold me accountable i look so oily oh that's actually better why is that I'm even writing on my walls. All right. So, I decided that you guys, I want you guys to hold me accountable. So, the money challenge that I decided to do what is the envelope challenge. So, basically, that challenge is you write down, you, you take envelopes. I got mine from Dollar Tree. You number them 1 through 50 if you want to do it for six months. And 1 through 100 if you want to do the challenge for a year. So, I decided to do two, 50, two sets of envelopes number one through 50. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two envelopes a week. I'm going to fill those envelopes. And at the end of each month, I'm going to deposit the money into a high interest savings account that I opened. I am not one... If the money is there, I'm going to spend it. So I have to put the money away. So, and that's why I failed previous challenges. I'm going to, I think this is easier for me to deposit the money into the account at the end of the month. And then the savings account that I decided to open, um, you it takes three days for the money to be transferred to my account because it's an online bank. And... Nine times out of ten, whatever I need, it's not a need. So, that's going to help me succeed this year. And then I have you, my fam, that's going to help me as well. So, I hope you guys like the video. I hope it makes sense. Don't be hard on me because y'all know I'm new to this YouTube thing. This is actually my first voiceover and I'm practicing my editing. I'm practicing to talk. So y'all just work with me. Next time y'all see me, these spots won't be on my wall. I didn't realize that Amir has been writing on my walls. I'm going to get him. But watch the video. Hope you like it. Like, comment, and subscribe if you have any questions. See you guys soon. Okay, so here you're going to see the two envelopes that I'm using. I think I picked these up from Dollar Tree. And now I'm going to be numbering the envelopes 1 through 50. So the first envelope, you put a dollar in. The second envelope, you put $2 in. Third envelope, $3. And so on and so forth. I'm going to speed this up. Because I know you guys don't want to see me numbering envelopes. But basically, you're just going to number them 1 through 50. What I did was I took the two boxes. And instead of me doing 1 through 100 on the envelopes, I did 1 through 50 twice. That way, that, that way it's more... Hmm, it's kind of a way for me to trick my mind to where I'm not having to take one envelope and put $100 in or take an envelope and put $99 in. It's just a way of me mentally saying that it's not so much money. And then what I'm going to be doing is kind of like bingo style, like I said previously in the intro. I'm kind of just, you know, taking two envelopes a week, whatever I have cash on me. 
and filling them up with less money if that makes sense to you so like one week i might pick out i might have 40 dollars on me so i would put 20 in one envelope and 20 in another envelope if that makes sense and then um another week i might take a uh, envelope that has a 15 on it and put $15 in it and then take an envelope that has $50 50 on it and put $50 in that one if that kind of makes sense to you it's like it's just the way that I trick my mind I'm weird so but it works it'll work for me so now that I've written those out 1 through 50 I'm just gonna stack them neatly for you guys to see and then I am just showing you guys that I numbered them 1 through 50. That's all. I'm sorry if you hear rain in the background. I'm outside and it's just a nice day, night. So I'm outside just chilling. So this one right here, I had already started this stack. So that's why you see three on the top. Um, that stack I did, like, I think I filled in one, two, and like five or whatever. Like, I had a five dollar, five dollars on me, so I'm just closing that box up just to show you guys. I don't know why that's there, and putting those back in the boxes because that's where I'll keep the envelopes until I'm ready to use them. Those are the empty envelopes. Now, this next clip, you're going to see my 2020 Happy Planner. So, remember I told you I had already started filling envelopes with cash. So, those that's where I kept them. But I'm actually not keeping the cash on. But there you go. I did. I filled in those already. Um, and today, I'm going to... I went to the bank, and I'm going to show you guys how I did it. So, here you see me counting out the weeks for January because I got paid so I took some cash out of the bank and I'm going to and I got some change so I'm just going to take the envelopes out and I'm going to start filling them up with whatever currency I have on hand so um, there's four weeks five weeks in January so um, I'm just watching. I'm watching with you guys. So, yeah, I filled that one up. And then here's another one. So, that's one week, week one. And then now I'm doing week two. I think I did one through ten on here because there's five weeks in January. So, two envelopes per week. So, um, I'm just filling these up here. And I'll just let you guys watch. So that's nine. So I'm just going to fill that up and put it aside. So that's four weeks done. And now on to the last week. So the last week of January is basically already done because I had the money. So I get three checks this month. So the 31st, when I get paid, I don't have to worry about taking money out to fill my envelopes because it's already done. Now, also, I want to tell you guys that, and I think I said it in the intro, but... I'm not keeping the cash on me because previous challenges that I've done, I'll just go into it and I'm not going to lie. I failed the challenges because I'll go into it if I'm short on cash and I'll spend it. So I'm putting those in just for now and then I'll take them out and then I'll put them in my high interest savings. All right, guys, I hope that video made sense. Like I said, if you have any more questions, leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I see you guys on my next video. Go get your envelopes and come back 
let me know how everything works let's do this together because i do want to upload every month on this challenge so that you guys can like i said hold me accountable so that we can get this thing done and at the end of the year we'll have us wings okay okay see you guys later